Alright, Privyet comrades, TFCom here. I didn't make a video earlier, and I haven't made a video much of this time I've had off. Even though I said I would have uh, make a lot more videos due to being off of work. But I guess I lied. Um, I've been hanging out with a friend a lot lately, so that's why there. But, uh, you know, I usually make my little birthday vlog. Uh, it's a few days late now. <laughs> Steve. Mm. Say hi. No? Okay. Uh, so it's a few days late now, but um, I actually celebrated, celebrated it this year. I usually don't, uh, just because people forget, or I'm working, or whatever else. I don't think I've celebrated it since maybe middle school? Like, it's been a long time. I might have done something in high school. Like, I would still, I still had class, but I think I'd had, like, my friend brought me some, like, peanut butter crackers or something. What are you doing? Steve. Want to be in the video so bad? There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Uh, but, so, I haven't really ever celebrated it, but, um, I actually got to this year. Uh, it was awesome. My friend took me and her kids, Steve, get off the counter, me and her kids out to see Captain Marvel. It was amazing. Um, not going to give too many spoilers. It's been out for a while, but I still know a lot of people haven't seen it. Um, and honestly, I'm really behind on my Marvel movies. Like, I never watched uh, anything past Civil War because I... I just can't, I, mentally I know I can't deal with um, the deaths and such, so I, I'm pretending they never happened. I'm like, nope, nothing happened after Civil War. So I just don't watch the movies, but um, I wanted to see this one. Mostly, I didn't really know anything about it, but I was like, yeah, you know, she, it's an interesting character, has a lot of history, you know. First, um, it was Captain Marvel, wasn't, Captain Marvel was um, a man. And then he became Shazam, and then they had Captain Marvel as a man, and then it became the one Captain Marvel female that we know, and now it's um, it's a Muslim girl named Captain Marvel, but um, that one wasn't in the that one wasn't the movie, unfortunately. Um, the movie focused on um. Carol Danvers, which was the previous Captain Marvel, not the current one. So I guess they're pretending the current one didn't happen, or maybe because it's still being written, the comics, you know, are so they're not really as advanced yet, so they don't have much of a story yet. I think that's maybe what they're doing, or maybe they just didn't want to risk uh, making a movie with a Muslim character, which, okay. But, uh, it was great, um... Completely and absolutely gay. Like, I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but there was absolutely no way this character was straight whatsoever. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much. Uh, basically, I'll give a little thing. Um, there's a character who lived alone with another woman and raised a kid together. So it it, it was very much like you know they could have been friends. Like, they could have made it into a friendship thing, but they did not do that. They went way beyond that. Um, they went to the point of, like, like really, really close, pretty much sexual stuff. Like, it was clearly they were together, uh, <laughs> which is amazing. Uh, people joke online that either Marvel made the most obvious lesbian couple ever and just didn't notice somehow or they know they did it and they were just really under under the covers about it you know just didn't didn't announce it to anyone before the movie happened i don't know but it was definitely a lesbian couple without a doubt like there was no there was no way around that they were definitely in a relationship together which i thought was really cool uh because i definitely i mean <laughs> i did not expect that i was just like oh man this is so sweet at first I was like, you know, maybe I'm reading into it, and then it kept going, kept going. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, they're definitely together. There's no reading into this, which I thought was really sweet. Um, 
Also, Nick Fury is in it. Uh, it's a much younger person. And I've noticed a lot of the most recent um, Marvel movies have been sort of prequels to things. But to be fair, uh, since in Infinity War, a lot of them die, from what I've been told. Um, they kind of can't make any sequels to that, really. I mean, they're making one now. Um, but for the most part, you really can't make a lot of sequels since, you know, the characters aren't here. Um, but, you know, uh, the new one, by the way, spoiler, uh, Endgame, it's supposed to be over three hours long, so, kind of disappointing in a way, because if it's that long, you know it's probably going to be the last one ever, which I really hope they're not doing, or, uh, I guess everything else is going to be flashbacks, or maybe they're going to go to a different universe. Because there's multiple universes, you know, in the Marvel series. And I hope they go to one where they actually get Hawkeye right. You know, like, please get him right in one of your universes. Because uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge Hawkeye person. I, like, cosplay him every year. Like, he's my big person. Um, he's actually... One of the only comic books I've ever read was Hawkeye. And I've read, like, all his issues. Like, I'm really into Hawkeye. And... I'm into both Hawkeyes, if you guys know, there's actually two of them. There's a female and a male. And, um... The male Hawkeye is... Deaf. He is, um... A goofball. He's cracking jokes. He's pretty lazy. Uh, he has a... He has a service dog. I was trying to think of what the term would be. I guess, hearing dog? But, service dog. Um... He's best friend to Deadpool. Like, he has a really good, um... Storyline in the movie that made him, like, super serious. And it's like... I was like, that's not Hawkeye. <laughs> he would be cracking up laughing in the middle of a battle. Like, he has no seriousness whatsoever. He's falling off of roofs. He's running around in sweatpants. Like, he really doesn't care. Um, closest they got to his actual seriousness um, was an Ultron, uh, Age of Ultron, when he uh, made a comment about um, they're fighting robots and he has a bow and arrow. <laughs> that was the closest they made to his personality. Uh, I also, they gave him a wife and kids in the movies, so they're going to have to figure out a way to negate that somehow. So I guess they're going to have to go to a different universe, because in the comics he's gay. Uh, well, he's bi. But, you know, that he never had a wife and kids. Um, he did raise some children with, um, with the other Hawkeye, which was basically like his daughter to begin with. Like, they were never in a relationship. He, he raised her, and then together they raised some other people. Um... Some victims from Hydra and such. Um, they unfortunately died. Uh, they got killed. The little kids did. It was a very, very sad scene. But, um, so he, he never had any biological kids. He was with Black Widow for a little bit. I mean, a very, very little bit before they realized that well, they weren't good together. Uh, he was with Mockingjay for a little bit. That one didn't last long either. He's never had any real long-term relationship with the girls. Um, it just never happened. Uh, he's had a lot of guys, also short, short-term. He's never really had any long-term relationship, period. But um, but he's clearly interested in everyone. So by Pan, I don't know. But uh, he ain't straight. <laughs> and he doesn't have any kids. And he doesn't have a wife. So that made me so mad when I first saw that. I like was so I just like paused the movie and had to walk out. I was like, I I can't because I I watched it on like uh, Netflix and I was like I I can't. I need like an hour to mentally calm down because this is really making me angry. Because you know that they, they they already ruined his character a lot and then they added that and I was just like, what are you doing? Well, uh, I heard that they were trying to they were trying to get people to like him more because um, they were going to be like killing him off and they wanted to be like I guess a big emotional thing or something like that or or he was the least popular so they were thinking I'm gonna just kill him off and they wanted to I guess see if they could make him more popular before they did or something I don't know but I mean the reason he was not popular is because you completely killed his character you made him pretty much identical to Black Widow which they're like oh badass girl or badass guy they're gonna go for the girl I mean she's hot right <laughs> that's fair enough uh, and you know, fans aren't gonna go for Hawkeye because that's not Hawkeye. That's just some random guy using his name. Basically, that's it. Like, it's not him whatsoever. 
Uh, yes. What's up? What's up? Hmm. Mm hmm. What do you want? But yeah, I went on a big tie rat. Uh, tie rod. Tirad. I don't know the English word. T i r e d. I think it's how you. I don't know. I went on a big story rant about Hawkeye, but um, basically, I just I'm not a big fan of the cinematic universe because they are very much um, very much trying to hide the LGBT sides of things. They're hiding the, the races and stuff, and which is really cool about uh, Captain Marvel is that they actually the lesbian couple. Um, one of them was African American and the other one was white, which is super cool because I mean not only they're showing a you know, a lesbian couple, but they're also showing interracial couple. And then they're not just doing like a couple, they're doing a family. Like they actually have a child together and stuff. And that's a big thing because, you know, it's one thing to even show a relationship and then it's usually insanely sexual and that's about it. Um, but they're also not even just showing the relationship. You know, they're adding, it's a family, it's two moms. Uh, it's not just like girlfriends, you know, do whatever. I think that's that's great because it's like it's not sexualizing uh, it, which usually anytime there's a gay relationship, it's either like sexualized, made fun of, you know, things like that. They're there for jokes or whatever. But uh, when it's lesbians, it's almost always sexualized, even if it's not a sexual movie. It's pretty much always sexualized when it's lesbians. That's just what happens. So the fact that it wasn't sexualized, like they still. You know, they they had a daughter together. They were they were mothers. They weren't, you know, they weren't just like sleeping around. Uh, and the fact that there was male characters in the series, like in the show and stuff, and they clearly didn't make them romantic interest. Like they didn't try to hide it whatsoever. Like so, you know, sometimes they even hint at it being, and people were like, "Oh, I shipped them." There is no ships for her with a man. Um, there are some people who ship her with Thor, and some people who ship her with Captain America. But um, they weren't even in the movie. I <laughs> uh, hear they're all going to be together in Endgame. But, you know, that's just people wanting to ship her with a guy. And they're trying to find a guy that would work well with her, I, I guess. But uh, there was no male romantic interest whatsoever. And there was plenty of male characters. So that's what I think is really good. That they didn't hint at any sort of, they didn't even hint at anything more than friendship whatsoever closest relationship she had, she had was with Fury, and they they were more of like, um, well, closest male relationship, and then they were more of like father-daughter. Like, there really wasn't any any whatsoever male uh, relationship, romantically, you know? And I think that, that was amazing, because, you know, fans would be like, oh, were they just best friends? Or like, or, I don't mean fans, because fans will clearly see what it is, but like, other people would be, you know, they're just, they're just best friends, she clearly likes this guy. And... The fact that if you try to make her with any guy, you'd be completely a crack ship, which uh, basically means there's no evidence whatsoever, and a lot of times means they're not even in the same game or ever meet each other. So, you know, <laughs> so I, I just I was so amazed by that. Um, so we're getting there. We're getting there a lot. We got the lesbian couple with with a kid and everything else, interracial, all that stuff. Now we're just waiting for. Um, a skate couple to get out there. There is um, CW, which DC, they're Supergirl. Uh, they're having a trans character come out. Uh, I think her name is Dreamer. It is literally a trans female, and she's being played by a trans female. Like, that is amazing. Uh, I don't watch the show whatsoever. I think I, wa I watched like an episode or two. I couldn't really get into it, but for this, I may rewatch the whole series, like, watch everything, catch up, because. You know, they're having it out there now, which is amazing. I mean, it, it's it's great. Rep representation in general is amazing. Um, you know, I'm not going to be petty and be like, well, it's not a trans guy. Or um, there's no pan person in there. There's just like lesbian. And it's like, I'm not going to complain about any of that because, you know, it's a huge step. So... I mean, it's just great. They did mess up Deadpool a little in that way, that they made um, the whole anal thing uh, as like a joke, or, oh, he can't do anal, oh, no. Uh, kind of like making fun of 
the yeah, they always have a gay make fun of thing. I haven't watched the sequel to Deadpool, but I heard that that one is very very gay. So maybe they fixed him up in the second one because he had his personality pretty much perfect in the first one. They just uh, had to throw in that stupid scene where you know uh, his girlfriend was pegging him, which makes him strap on, uh, and he he couldn't do that. Whereas in the comics, he's He's doing that all the time with girls and guys and everyone else. So, you know, um, so we're coming a long way that uh, even in the same series, like something like that, they fixed him up. So that's a big thing. And I know he's not technically owned by Marvel anymore. It's one of those iffy things like the comic books, I think, are still owned by Marvel, but the animate, not animated, the, um, the movie version is not. Or maybe the maybe the comics got bought out too. I don't know. I don't know why they'd even sell them. I mean, I'm sure Deadpool is like a huge seller, comic book wise and movie wise. So why they would just up and sell the characters? Kind of weird to me. But I'm um, their their mistake. The movie ended up amazing for that one. Um, I mean, it's Ryan Reynolds. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, the last one he was in was actually DC. And it was Green Lantern. I loved that movie to pieces. Like, it was my child, like, I don't want to say my childhood, but, like, it was my favorite movie growing up. I loved it so much. I rewatched it all the time. I, like, pretend to have the little ring and everything else. And everyone always, everyone who mentioned, who even talks about it says it's the worst movie of ever, of any superhero movie ever. Uh, so, <laughs> I was like, oh, it, it was my, my favorite. But um, I guess everyone hated it. <laughs> But for the Green Lantern, I don't I don't know those comics at all, so they may have gotten the characterization really badly, and maybe that's why people didn't like it. I just thought it was a really cool, you know, badass movie. But if I knew the comics, I probably wouldn't like it. I don't know. I'm going in my whole like uh, superhero rant to it, but uh, basically, what I did for my birthday, we went and saw the movie. Um, I've been talking with a, a rat breeder about getting some more. I currently only have two two girls left. Um, it's just they're all hitting that age. Uh, that's what happens when you get them all around the same time. That um, you know they only live so long, so they're all hitting that same age at the same time. And so now all that's left is Boo and Bun Bun. Um, when I'm getting new rats, I'm getting males this time because males have a lot better health. They don't get the um, the memory tumors that the girls do. They don't get really any type of cancer. They do, but it's insanely rare compared to the girls, which is really common. Uh, they can get respiratory issues, just like the girls, but it's a lot less common too. Like males are pretty amazing health wise compared to the girls. Uh, they also don't move much. They kind of get fat and just lay there, which is amazing for one for what I'm one. I want. I'm wanting one that can carry around, can sit on my shoulder, whatever else. And the girls want to constantly run around. No matter how old they get, they want to run and play. Which is, you know, cool to watch. But um, they don't want to be held. They want to run, you know. They don't want to be, you know, walking around. The guys, you know, you can kind of carry them in a hat, sit them on your head, whatever else. So I'm wanting something like that. I'm wanting a really calm, lazy person. Well, that, that's, you know, that's what I'm wanting. So... I'm going to go for guys this time. Um, I set up my old rat cage. Remember that big black one? That was horrible. Um, I can actually show you guys it now. Well, I set it back up. Um, it doesn't have everything yet. Like, it doesn't have the hammocks yet. Or a water bottle. You almost knocked me over, cat. But, uh, as you can see, it is mostly set back up. Uh, I gave them a wheel. Which... I've only ever had one rat actually use the wheel, and it was my very, very first rat ever, Cupcake. But, um, you know, maybe these maybe these boys will. I don't know. That cage was horrible. It took me like four hours to set this thing up. I made me so mad. I was throwing stuff towards the end. I was like, stick together. So if something breaks, I'm probably just giving up. Um, but uh, I set up that one because... The big one is amazing. You know, I love this cage. Um, this big big cage right here. They have all these cool things in it. It's amazing. But, you know, I'm getting males. I can't mix them with the girls. And also, 
while I would want the males to have, you know, a fancy cage, I don't want to go and buy another fancy cage because, you know, once the girls are gone, I'm not buying any more girls. So, I mean, that could be years from now. It could be a week from now. You never, I mean, you never know it really with rats. But um, I'm not going to be buying any more girls. So, I don't really need to get another cage. I have this... This one cage, because I've been trying to sell it uh, since I bought the other cage, it's been a long time, and no one has bought it. So I kind of gave in and was like, well, I guess I'll use it. Because <laughs> I've been meaning to get males for a while now, but, um, but I was like, I don't really have anywhere to put them because I can't mix them with the girls. And I was going to put the girls in this one and let the males in the bigger one, because um, I'm you know, going to be getting a lot more males than the girls. But then I thought that'd be really kind of cruel because these girls have been in this one cage for so long. Um, one of them I didn't even get till I already had this big cage. So, you know, it's like this is their their home and moving them at all is kind of annoying for them, but also they'd be downgrading and that seems really kind of cruel. Because, you know, it's... They have all these hammocks and beds and stuff like that. And also, I wouldn't want to leave those for the boys because they're going to be dirty and used and everything else. They'll have the other, they'll have the girls scent on them, everything else, and it's not, um, it's not the best idea uh, to have another another rat scent on things. Better yet, a girls because the guys are going to start marking them and everything else. Their cage is very close to each other. I acknowledge that. I try to keep it somewhat far apart. But it's about as close as I can, about as far as I can get it, um, because they make a mess. I'll straight up say that I need a mat under this cage. Rats make a mess. Cats make a mess. Every animal makes a mess. And cleaning up on carpet is very, very difficult. While uh, cleaning up on on wood isn't nearly as difficult. Still difficult. Uh, I mean, as in you have to get the whole broom out and mop and everything else. But you don't have to worry about a vacuum. And vacuums, I don't like very much because you can only use them during a certain time of day. You've got to, you know, wrap up the core and thing else where broomies kind of sweep it up and you're done. So, you know, you don't want to do it too late at night because then it can be too loud for people. Where, you know, again, the broom, it's like, psh, you can do it at five in the morning. It doesn't matter. No one's going to hear it. Um, I'll set up a little travel cage. It's not... I still need a water bottle for that one, too. Don't take me by the way. There you go. Um... Because that's what I'm going to use to get the boys. The breeder is uh, over an hour away. Uh... <laughs> but it's, uh... One of the closest ones I could find. Um... They're about an hour and ten minutes away, I believe. And on the sixth, they're going to be moving a little closer. They're going to be only an hour away. Ooh! Um... Uh, but I don't have next month's schedule until this month ends, of course. So, no promises there, of course. Um, I guess we'll see about that. Uh, what other things are happening? Do, 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 do. Um, my sister is going to be giving birth in about a month. Um, she keeps changing the due date. So I'm not sure if that's the doctor doing that or if it's... Her just being weird. It's so originally she said it was due uh, June fifteenth, and then she changed it to um, May thirty first, and then she changed it to May first, and now she's saying April twentieth. I'm not sure she even knows when the baby's due at this point, but um, I don't know. She says she's eight months along, which wouldn't match the June at all, but. I don't know anymore. It'll come when it comes, apparently. <laughs> it comes whenever it wants to. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But, um... That's that news there. What other things have been happening? Mm -hmm. You know about the work thing? Not much has been going on with me. Um, I got my friend to finally start playing Detroit, which is awesome. Which is partly why I haven't been making um, gaming videos. First, because they've been here. But also because I haven't been playing the games, uh, they have. And it's interesting seeing their choices. Because um, they're doing way better than I did. 
Uh, they still end up killing Todd. That was a conscious choice for me. It was an accident. Um, uh, I did talk them through making sure Carl didn't die. They didn't. They were like, "No, I don't want to choose that option." I'm like, Carl's gonna die. Don't choose. You know. Like, so that probably did kind of get a say in. Um, they've done a lot better stuff. Uh, they managed to talk really good in that interrogation scene, which I thought I had done pretty well. The end. The android did die, but I thought I got all the information I needed out of it. It was okay. Um. Because he mentioned the statuette and anything else about how it's inside, anything else. And apparently, that was not the exact wording uh, it needed to have. Because when my friend did it, it actually did that, you know, unlocking lock thing. So, even though he said, you know, like, the secret is inside, he didn't phrase it the same way or something like that. He didn't say it as he was walking out of the room. So... I don't know, but um, I was kind of hoping he did say that because it would keep me from having to kill anyone in order to find Jericho later in the game. Because I was planning that from the start to find a way to not kill anyone and still find Jericho. So I ended up getting him killed, which apparently he gets killed anyway because he killed himself in front of her later in the game. Later in the game. So, you know... Um, but I was trying to find a way to not get anyone killed, but I got him killed, and I'm gonna have to kill someone else because I didn't get what I needed out of him, so, yep. Maybe there's a way to question him to get what I need out of him, I'm not entirely sure. I think they said I can also question, um, over in the Stratford Tower, one of the kitchen androids, which, um... I'm going to go after him, because I'm going to end up getting Simon caught. The path I'm going to be taking. Because I'm doing Pacifist, I don't want to be fighting the humans. If anyone doesn't know the game, they'll be kind of confused. But um, you can either kill the humans, or they sound an alarm, and Simon gets shot. And I don't want Simon to die, so... But I'm going to be doing that path, so he gets shot. And then I'm going to be doing um, him hiding. Which, when he gets shot, he hides on the roof. And the only way to kind of prevent catching him later on is to catch the one in the kitchen instead. So I'm gonna be catching the one in the kitchen, and I heard you can question him, and then in um, at the end of the, of the game, and you can use the same thing as you could use against Simon, where you get Marcus's voice to find the area. I may be big spoilers. I read up a lot because I want to make sure I could kill the least amount of people and still you know make it make it work. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, that is about my update. I kind of want to play, but uh, also want to play Sims again. So we'll see about that. I spend so many, I spend like hours doing all the mods, and by that point, I'm like, well, it's been like six hours, and then I spend like another hour to making the character, and then I'm like, well, now I don't want to play. <laughs> so. That's all that goes, but um, anyway, I guess there's not much more to talk about. Uh, it's my birthday update, and in case you're wondering, that's on the, that was on the 26th. So, according to my current calendar, doo -doo 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 -doo, it was two days ago. It was on Tuesday, so I'm not sure when this video will update fully. It should update today on, the th on Thursday, because uh, right now it is... 4.50 a.m. here, so it should update today. No matter how, like, it could take 12 hours and it would still be today, so it should it should be today. Uh, sometimes I'm like, well, it's about midnight, I'm not sure, or like, it's uh, it's about 10, you know, midnight would still be today. But, um, anyway, that's uh, my rants about, um, about Marvel and um, rats and... <laughs> Video games, but um, I don't really know what to talk to about. Uh, I got my piercings back in. I think I mentioned that last time. Yeah, I did. So, anyway, <laughs> TFCOM signing off. Bye.